When did Bitcoin double last time? And are we going to see it again? Are we going to see Bitcoin double from here? Yes. Just take a look at this. Actually, this is on a 12 hour scale. Last time Bitcoin doubled, actually more than doubled, it was like tripled, was back in October 2023. You guys remember those days when Bitcoin was hovering in the 20s and everyone was super, super bearish? Because Bitcoin would not move, we stayed entire 2023, basically from January when we hit below 20,000, like 16,000, and then all the way up to September 2023, we basically stayed at that 20,000 range. And a few times we broke up, we broke down, right? So just remember last year when that happened, it was nine months nine months of basically sideways movement and nine months of me streaming basically twice a day every day telling you guys to stay strong stay focused and dca and showing you charts of what's going to happen later this year in 2024 and 2025 and how we could hit 100 150 200 250 000, right um some of you guys stayed and listened. A lot didn't. Said said I was just bringing hope, nothing else, right? But look at how far we have come. And the last time, you know, in 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 2023, when things started moving in September, October, um, we had a a golden cross. We had a golden cross happen, and then we shortly afterwards broke into the 30s, broke into the 40s. Broke into the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Okay, so we actually more than doubled. We, we like tripled since then. And things started moving really quick. Again, for like nine months, we went sideways. Okay, um, so, you know, this time around, you know, I know April wasn't good. May so far, eh, okay, it's not that bad. But we had seven consecutive months of green. So that's why when we started dipping a little bit, told you guys, don't worry about it. It happens every cycle. It does. We have 20%, 25% dips. But once we pick ourselves up, we will start moving again. We will form a new high and we will go much higher. It's just a matter of whether you have patience or not, right? But there are a lot of charts like this that show, yeah, we are. We are about to go higher, to go to the next leg. And I'm looking forward to it. And here's what I used on uh, on a thumbnail. But, you know, if you like patterns, if you like fractal patterns, uh, this is what it looks like. Um, <laughs> the beginning, so in 2023, once we start going up, in 2024, you could see we did have a little dip, right? After first hitting about $50,000, we had a little dip back to 30s. That was the beginning of this year, guys. This, this was not last year. This is the beginning of this year. In February, we fell back down to the 30s. And then afterwards, guess what happened? We picked ourselves back up, broke the previous high of this year, and then we formed another leg up. So it kind of looks like what's happening right now, right? It looks actually identical to what's happening right now. We hit and broke all-time high several times. We hit 70,000, 72,000, 73,000. We had a little dip back to the 50s. And now we are getting ready to break back to the 70s, break our all-time high, and head to the next level, which could be way beyond 80,000. I think so. If we break 73,000, 80,000 is nothing. Can we see six figures? That's the question. Can we see six figures before the end of the year? And if so, would that be scary? <laughs> because, you know, before the having event happened, like back in, you know, probably like March, February, March, I did a couple of interviews and I said, you know what? The way we're moving with ETFs, it would not surprise me if we hit seven figures, uh, not seven figures, six figures for Bitcoin by July. Now, that kind of went away after we started falling in April and May. But you know what? There's no reason why we can't hit six figures, 100K by July. 
if we pick up for the remainder of this month and we have a fantastic June month, we can definitely be at 100,000 by July, which actually would be a little scary too because that means Bitcoin is just moving so, so fast. And if we could hit 100,000 by July, where will Bitcoin be by the end of this year? Right around the election time. Can Bitcoin go up as high as 150,000 by the end of this year? I'd love to see it. I mean, if it happens, imagine where the alt will be, right? I mean, most would have broken through their 2021 high and probably double from there. It would be absolutely insanity. That's what I'm trying to say. And it could happen. It definitely could happen because a lot of these longer term charts show that this cycle is going to end with Bitcoin being at 200, 250, three hundred thousand dollars some are even being more bullish than that this one is showing yeah we're going to be right up there around 200 240 thousand dollars so in order for bitcoin to do that we must be moving this year right we must be hauling yeah i'm not going to <laughs> finish that but you guys know what i'm talking about right so it's looking really good guys really good Traders are targeting 74K next week. In case you're wondering, 73K is our previous high that we we touched upon maybe two months ago. Wasn't that long. Wasn't that long ago. But a lot of traders, a lot of analysts think that all-time high is right around the corner. We're certainly not that far off. We're at 66,000. We know Bitcoin can move very quickly. Sometimes it can move five ten percent in a single day just a ten percent move will bring us back up to about seventy three thousand so it's not that far fetch we're not that far off what else is bullish uh bitcoin balance on exchanges uh keeps dropping i've talked about this morning with just coinbase but here's on every exchange and you could see uh since 2020 which was our peak uh we have been dropping and dropping and dropping dropped over a million bitcoin a million not not a million dollars a million bitcoin have disappeared off the exchanges and it's still going down it's not like it's leveling out it's going down at a rapid rate and one day it's gonna get to a number where it's just gonna be so rare bitcoin's gonna be worth a lot of money that you don't want to wait until that happens you don't want to wait until that happens. That's going to be too late. But it's happening right in front of our eyes. It's part of the growing fundamentals that I talk about a lot. Okay? When the supply goes down and demand goes up, of course, that's a really good combination. That's why Bitcoin goes upwards. And it's happening right in front of our eyes.